first hotel to open on Miami Beach in 1915, and it's most people's first choice for a great steak dinner if price isn't really a problem and waiting for a table is okay with you. It's Prime 112. One of many owned by Miles Shevitz, who will have you wondering how many restaurants does a man need within a two-block radius? For now, the answer is five. You know, at a certain point, you know, I think I've covered all the price points. I have the, the big pink for the $13 all-day check average. I have the sushi place, which is more like $40 a person. Nemo is, is uh, seafood at $70 a person. Prime 112 is a modern steakhouse at $100 a person. Prime Italian is a little bit less of a check average because we're not selling as much steak. Not a problem here at Prime 112. And this is the man to thank. Executive chef for Nemo's Prime Italian and Prime 112, Mike Sabin. Pretty sure he made Miles' day when I asked him if he had any desire to own his own restaurant in the future. I don't know. Why not? That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Way too much work. Yet you can count him in for the new one, restaurant number six for Miles. Yeah, it's coming. I'm opening a hotel next door, which is going to be Prime Hotel, which should be done in about four months. It's going to be an extension, um, food and beverage-wise, of this place. So there's going to be more seats, uh, more, more dining tables. Um, there'll be some additional menu items. It's actually right, right behind us here, right next door. The ongoing joke is that Prime 112 is recession-proof, and as long as the food continues to be this good, the celebrity sightings keep getting written and talked about. And the pretty women continue visiting the bar for a cocktail with friends. That two-block radius south of Fifth on the beach just might be home to number seven. I said to myself, this affair never will go so well. But why should I try to resist when, baby, I know so well?